Hey everybody, it's Weasel. I'm back. I just got moved into a new house, both literally and in Minecraft. But the new Minecraft house has kind of an interesting twist to it, which we'll see as soon as I get outside here. You might think it's just a bunch of neat little houses stuck together, right? Well, that's kind of wrong. Technically speaking, I've occupied one of the random villages that 1.8 generates, but literally speaking, I've occupied probably 50 of them at once. There's a friend of mine on Zedu forums by the name of Insanity Bringer has been messing with the world generator code in the 1.9 pre-releases. Can't get stuck in water here. You really need to watch where I'm going. But he's he's been messing with the world generator code. He decided to make the villages more common and accidentally made it so that villages occupy every possible coordinate of the world. So, what we have here is basically a gigantic Escher-esque conglomerate mashup of probably about 50 different villages all occupying the same space. But, uh, I've actually taken it upon myself to actually make this a livable space. Which admittedly has been going fairly well. That's not my entrance, so I'll have to clear that out later. So we have a normal house sitting here, but that's not where I'm living. I'm living in here. So, not really a lot of furniture to speak of. I've mostly been working on making all the buildings connect together. I stick my bed here just because I like having it in a nook like that. Here's the obligatory wall of forges. I call it Geordie. Dirty the Forge. Uh, random walkways. I basically make it so I can get to any part of the house from any place else. Have as many possible entrances as I can in case I need to run away from creepers because I do have monsters on. Just to add to that extra creepy factor. This is one of those weird restaurant looking buildings with all the tables. I've carved it up so that I can get to the library. A place where we can stand. This is what most of the buildings look like before I start altering them. You see there's even a, a wheat farm stuck down there beneath a bunch of dirt. Some feeble attempts at making walkway paths that end up just collapsing on themselves because they're made of gravel. Like up here. And, uh, I suppose the world generator tried to create a watchtower here. I've slightly modified it, but it is still possible to use it as a watchtower. If my jump button will work, I will show you the upper floor. Which I've also carved out and modified. But beyond here, it's all pretty much just desert. I haven't found a single mine within several hundred meters of where I'm living here. Just endless fields of sand and stone. And sandstone and... yeah. So yeah, that's basically been my Minecraft project, is trying to make order from chaos, as it were. If you all want this, if you all want this uh, world file, I can package it up and dump it somewhere for you. Mostly just so that maybe some of you guys can have the same sort of challenge that I am. It's really kind of fun. And I must stress that my own copy of Minecraft is completely unmodified. Uh, Insanity Bringer just messed with his world generator and sent me the results. And also, I know, I know mostly that this will work on any version of Minecraft. So you can probably run it on 1.7 if you've decided not to update it all but it was generated on a 1.9 pre-release, and I'm running it on 1.81. So, yeah. Let me know if you want the world file. I'll send it to you. I'll stick it in the video description or something. Uh, in the meantime, peace out, guys. I'll uh, see about getting some actual, like, interesting videos recorded for you later on. Because I've got some How Bad Could It Be queued up if I can just find myself a good newsreel announcer that doesn't suck, i.e. me. Actually, I suck. I need to find somebody else that doesn't suck. Uh, inquire within. So, yeah. 
Uh, see you later, guys.